Mira. G'day legends and welcome to the final tray and canopy build episode. In previous videos, I sat down with Pete from PSE Fabrications and he designed a base and canopy for my needs. Over the last two months, Pete and his team have been working on the final product and this video picks up right where we left off in the last video, where we'll be showing the final assembly, wiring, installation of accessories, and finally, the fitting of the base and canopy. Today, I'm going to let the videos do the talking and I'll be adding some captions as we work our way through the final steps of the canopy build. I'll be picking up the camera towards the end of the video as the final fit approaches. Let's get it.
far that is to there. Yeah. Look at the other side. What's the other side look like? Look how close the nut is to the mound. Yeah. Look at the other side. Oh, it's... Damn it. Yeah. I thought, I always thought it was a bit off to one side. Because well, I walked past it on one side, I'm like, sticks out a bit far. Doesn't take much to notice things, That's eh? Way yeah. Well, if <laughs> It looks good. Well guys, now I am officially excited because Pete just sent me a message and said, hey Mark, can you come pick up the canopy? Uh, I drove home last night with just the base on because there's still a little bit of thinking and a little bit of fabricating to do with the uh, rooftop tent and with the awning as well. So I'm very excited, just got the message to say, hey, come pick up the canopy. So we'll be doing that for the rest of this video. But for me, it's, uh, you know, day after day that we're doing this because this stuff, guys, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, this, this that's probably one of the biggest misconceptions that, and one of the biggest myths to bust is that is like a canopy just something that just gets made really quickly and then whack it on your car no if they're made well there is a lot of time that goes into these so you can understand my excitement that you know after putting a little bit of, of my own blood sweat and tears into it i didn't do much at all pete did the whole thing and uh, i'm just i'm so looking forward to getting this on the 79 so we can as well start fitting it out because that's what it's all about at the end of the day isn't it it's fitting it out and getting it ready to go camping so the build is coming to a near and um, yeah, it's coming to an end. So let's go ahead and get this canopy on. I'm keen, let's do it. Well guys, that's it. It is finally on, as I'm sure you've seen from the clips that I just filmed. We forklifted it on, well I didn't, Pete did. But, uh, Pete and Steve sorted it all out. They put everything on, they bolted up the last of everything and I'm just driving home now. And it, it the car drives uh, actually surprisingly good. Um, you know, it, it I thought it, it was gonna, I thought it was going to flatten it out completely where it's, you know, like carrying maybe an extra two or three hundred kilos on top of the tray as well but it feels like pretty much like how it was when i was carrying the um 
the rooftop tent and the awning in my standard tray. So, and that was when I was driving to the fabrication shop. So to me, it doesn't really feel like that we're that much heavier than I actually thought we were going to be. So uh, one of the next steps that I will be taking is going to a weigh bridge and weighing this, and I'll let you guys know exactly how much it weighs in at. And also the next video is going to be the full uh, walkthrough of every single feature of this as well. So make sure that you have subscribed for that because it's going to be a big walkthrough. I have lots of ideas as well for the fit out of this, whether I do completely DIY or I do a bit of DIY and get Pete's help. I'm not too sure, but we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. And either way, it's gonna end up turning out awesome just like uh, the canopy has. And I am honestly so happy with how the base and the canopy has turned out. I'm even happier again with how the rooftop tent turned out. There's plenty of room between there and the awning. We're a little bit concerned about clearances and that because there's a lot. We are put, I asked a lot of the boys to put a lot of accessories on that roof and I just, I'm so happy at the moment. So um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm very excited. I'm pretty stoked with how it's all turned out. And um, and yeah, and driving home, it's just, you know, six, six or eight weeks or however long it was to get this thing rolling. And, uh, and to have it now on the actual 79 driving around is just a dream come true. The dream rig is coming together nicely. So this is a dream car that I've had my eye on for a long time. Ever since doing the Cape as well, I've, I've really wanted this exact setup and now I've got it. So guys, I'm gonna finish it up there and wait and stick around for the full walk around of this canopy. And um, thank you for joining me today, guys. And again, a massive thank you to Pete and Steve and all the boys at PSE Fabrication who put in a lot of effort working on uh, the 79 and working on the canopy and the base. I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys if you're watching this. I really do appreciate it. So with all that said and done, guys, I'll see you in the next video where we'll be doing a walk around of this canopy. And uh, it's going to be a good one. So looking forward to it. All right, I'll see you then.